Shala Wama, Shala Wama. How's everybody doing today? I wanted to come on here and talk about a little the um, ADHD or somewhere in that category. I, I have been learning and um, seeing that a lot. And with children, especially small children. And I have been seeing that it seemed like their brain is way far hearing your handwriting is trying to catch up with it so it's a link but all it is all i have did i don't know if they have it but you you know you watch and you see and you learn um mostly it's just trying to get what they're interested in and trying to figure out where can you go with this like with my oldest i have learned that math was was a was a challenging subject so i pretty much did what he what grabbed his interest his big interest was money counting money so everywhere we went everything we did tell me what this is or what that is like if we go to the grocery store i make sure i pull them in okay all right we're going to the grocery store we're getting this 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 okay well how much is this can you um so here's my total here's my budget all right so subtract it off of it make sure when we walk out the door you have it or how much is this and how much is that and make some math problems just off of just being in the store okay if i get this uh bag of fries and i get uh, this bag of potatoes and i get this bag of potatoes what's the difference in prices i want you to look at the quality everything in this potato and stuff so just figure out what makes them uh, succeed in everything and what makes them happy and excited and ready to learn and ready to go for the uh, flow if it's computers if whatever it is get them to grab that and take it through your whole school environment like the money i did okay so we didn't do add and subtract and multiply and divide okay we did it with money and that's basically what we did we did with money everything i did in math when i made sure i figured out how to put it with money how how can i put this with money i have been made reading figured out how can i put it with money okay if you read this what these many pages what is gonna get reel them into it i, I i'm not saying pay them money i'm not saying that i mean what can make them reel in what else is they interested in what else makes them strive what makes them them what can they get on quick and you take that through all your lessons all right reading okay math was it all right so that find books talking about money okay so you found the history of money he read today great job if it's on computers okay maybe get a book on computer maybe um do art class on the computer something that brings them out um to make them strive to make them get big and what they do and what they learn so basically you're gonna have to tap into your children to figure out what what makes them tick what makes them excited about reading um math science social what makes them okay you read a book but did you read a book on the history 
of money. All right, so you got two things. You got social studies in there, and you got reading because they read a book about money, and they read a book about the history of money. You can make a read a regular book, but then you read a book about the history of money. You bring in math in there. You bring in social studies in there, and you bring in reading. All three, one subject. There you go. You you don't have to go and okay. Well, we got to do reading class. We got to do math class. No, make it all together. Figure out how you can excite them and want them to feel the exciting. Um, whatever it is, uh, what excites your children? What thrive them on? to learning what thrives them on to talking how to get their communication out there going i mean if you do and then they walk up and tell you about this money and tell you about this presentation on this book you could mark that as oral communication part of their writing class and there you go you got your fourth subject already in there so look reach in to your children reach in get get down in there real good get down in there get down so you can understand and know what makes them tick what makes them excited what makes them them why do it make them them how does it make them them and then you go to that and figure out how to make that a part of every subject there is all right so uh make instead of making a worksheet go out there all right so what do you get you know you have five dollars so we're at the dollar store so what can you get how much you know you only can get four things not five things why because you have to have that change on five dollars well, what is the change? Is it, is it for, what is the change? What is the um, tax to that? And you can learn about tax, but through, um, I can't say oral because you're in the store, you're learning, you're understanding. Okay, do you have enough? Do you, you got five dollars? Okay, is it enough for four pro, four? items or if it's not enough for four items because it could be for that one item can be over you could be at another store and that one item could be over a dollar and five cents so that means you got to look at that tax on there so you got to get them in the move and uh get them learning get them excited about learning because it's a lot that just Oh, mom, we got to read. No, yay, we got to read because I'm going to read about math and I'm going to read about um, money. And you know how much money we can do in this program and how much money. And what if I make this a business and what do I got to, how much money do I got to make and what kind of money do I got to make. Get them excited about it. Go back. Remind yourself. When you were in school, how was it? What made you excited about what subject? Um, did they like to uh, ride bikes? Okay, so how many steps? Well, whatever it is, find them and go from there. Make them excited about learning, about understanding, about education. Just take that and go with it bring it all around that lesson okay so um whatever it is however you want to do it just make sure that your child is at mind when you do this curriculum when you do your own curriculum and stuff these this is the one i'm trying to help you on your own curriculum but if you don't then i mean because remember we go to or um, we can be looking online for Amazon and buying books. Okay, how much money is it? You got this much money? Put put them on a budget. 
so they can figure out okay how many books can I buy and but I got to look at the prices on every book to make them so you gotta um, they gotta think they got to think about this so that could be because I, I don't know how the libraries are in your state so we've been buying books so think about that how can they grow their library for their room how can you grow from there um maybe it's an online library and you read the books well how much every month that it gotta be or is this book um more or less than that book so you gotta look at that on there um so i, I mean you could be online library but this book could be five dollars for you to read for two weeks or this book could be ten dollars for you to read for four weeks i mean look at this look at that stuff and look what they're interested in reading and um maybe for writing class it could be something about that history book or or something like that or find more things online about money and understanding about money or whatever it is with this child just grab the attention and take it off go go for it um remember homeschool remember we talked about that um it's what did we talk that the world is your homeschool remember that i have learned that this year that's what i'm going for i'm aiming for the world is my home school. All I have to do is bring it in. So make sure you remember that. Make sure you understand that. And take them with you on this, on this um, thing. Learn about them again. Learn about your child again. Understand about your child. Look where they trying to go. See where they trying to go. So the schooling learning about schooling and all that putting your curriculum together is in list remember that in list you, you i mean make them your curriculum guide okay your resource is your child make sure that your resource is your child so you can get it and go in and take it Take it on a journey with them. Surprise them this year. Well, Shalawama, have a great day. And thank you for watching again. Like, comment, sub subscribe if you liked this video. Shalawama.